Unit Seven, Part A, Activity One B. Listen, check, and repeat. Desert, Hill, Mountain. River, ocean, lake, forest, waterfall. Volcano. Unit Seven, Part A, Activity Two B. Tim and Casal are playing a game called Guess What. Listen and write the sentences they use to describe the places below. Let's play a game, Casal. I'm so bored. Yeah, sure, Tim. Let's play. Guess what? I'll start first. It's a place that is drier than normal land. Huh. Ah,、mm. uh, desert. Correct. My turn. It's smaller than a mountain, but it's higher than the ground. Is it? A hill? Yes. Okay, so it's a place that has taller and bigger trees than a park. Hmm. I I don't know this one. I'll give you another hint. It also has more trees than a park. Hmm. Somewhere that has more trees. It's a forest. Oh, okay. Next one. It's bigger and saltier than a lake. Easy. It's the ocean. Then, oh, my mom's here. Oh no! One more time. Okay, fine. It's higher than a hill and more explosive than a small bomb. Is it? Uh. Volcano. Yes, that's correct. Congratulations, Tim. See you tomorrow. Bye. Unit Seven, Part A, Activity Five B. Listen and check. The Antarctic Desert and the Sahara Desert are drier than other types of land, with barely any precipitation every year. Precipitation is a word for snow or rain. While the cold desert, Antarctica, is covered by a huge sheet of ice, with temperatures between minus ten degrees C and minus sixty degrees C, the Sahara has a hotter temperature of around forty degrees C to forty-seven degrees C, making it one of the hottest deserts. These areas are also more difficult and more dangerous to live in for most humans and animals. Only two percent of Antarctica isn't fully covered by ice, and that is where seals, penguins, and other birds live. In contrast, the Sahara is full of sand, but it has more types of animals, such as snakes, lizards, cheetahs. Camels, and plants such as date palms. Although the Sahara is hotter, it has a population of approximately 2.5 million people, whereas Antarctica's population is smaller than 5,000, and they are mostly researchers. Despite the terrible conditions, these two deserts are more important than we think. 
Antarctica's ice sheet stores a larger amount of fresh water than other places on Earth, and the deserts could provide more solar energy, that's energy from the sun, which could be used for clean energy. Unit 7, Part B, Activity 1C. Listen, check and repeat. Alligator. Scorpion. Hippopotamus. Cheetah. Hamster. Rabbit. Unit 7, Part B, Activity 4A. Listen to the radio program about three types of bears and fill in the gaps with the adjectives. Good evening and welcome to DEF Radio. I'm your host, Nick. And today we'll be talking about three of the most interesting bears. Grizzlies, pandas and polar bears. Let's start with pandas. They are from China and they are the most adorable animals ever. However, don't let their cuteness deceive you because they are still dangerous and you won't know when they will attack you. If we talk about speed, pandas are the slowest, while grizzlies are the fastest. Moving on to pandas' white brothers, polar bears live in places that are very cold, such as Russia, Alaska, Canada, Greenland and Norway. They are the most dangerous and the scariest when they're hungry. They also have the biggest feet compared to the other bears. Since they need to protect themselves from the cold weather, their fur is fluffier than brown bears and pandas. Finally, we have the brown bears, or grizzlies. They are from Europe, Asia or North America. They are heavier than pandas, but lighter than polar bears. They are more dangerous than pandas when it comes to protecting their cubs. There you have it, folks. Before we move on to our next programme, let's...